Hello you guys. So this is an impromptu video where I wanted to simply show a little contraption I made for my new phone. And I have been going through some YouTube videos trying to see if I needed to get a new tripod. And I was looking at some reviews and seeing what some of the prices were and seeing if these tripods would fit my needs. So you know how us little crafty people are. <laughs> I used my brain a little bit and looked around my room because I'm always at the dollar store. So this is actually the latest contraption I've purchased. And I believe it was about $2.99 at the 99 cent store. I needed a tripod that would bend and show me crocheting from a top view. So let me take you through the prompts. So this tripod came pretty much completely folded down like a contraption in a Z. I have completely opened it up and this is what it looks like when it is completely standing up. I knew that because the bottom of this tripod needed to bind to something, I was thinking in my head, well, I don't necessarily have like a glass table or like a frosted office table, but I knew in my mind that I needed something and this is what I visualized because I wanted to have something that I could pick up and that was portable and that I could take it with me anywhere I went. Now, let me go through. This right here is a small cutting board that I found at Home Goods. As you can see, it has these four little circles at each corner which provides a grip when you put this on any table. I was thinking that when I connected my tripod to the cutting board that I would still need paperweights, but it was very important as to where I placed the tripod on this cutting board. So, now we have it placed. It turns out I didn't need any paperweights at all. And here is what the tripod can do. One, two, three. The tripod can now move back three notches this way. We can actually bring it forward. Two, three, and it actually bends all the way down flat in which I purchased it. And now when I pick it up, I can take this anywhere with me. I can hold it here, very comfortable. I can hold it here. So now I'm gonna lay this back flat and lift it straight up again. Now, here's our second part. One, two, three, four, five, six, <laughs> seven, and it can actually keep going, um, but the cutting board is in the way. Generally, I don't need it to go that far. Back up, and it comes forward two, three, four, and of course it goes this way as well. Here we have another one. One, two, now that goes back two notches. Okay, then we can bring it forward. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, until it's 
completely closed. Next, the actual head. So this is the vertical position. And this is the horizontal position. And then as you can see, there are some diagonal positions in between. So from the vertical, you have one, two, three, and you can keep turning all the way. <laughs> so now I have placed an old camera onto my tripod. Now, as you can see back here, there's some pop. I used to have two. I have the one and then I have that one that's in the way which is a removable one. This just goes to show how it works inside of the tripod. It's pretty stable. When I place this cutting board on carpet or on a table, and as you can see on the bed, like it's just very stable. And honestly, it is like the best thing I have used so far. And I even take this in my car and I sit this on the passenger seat and it's pretty stable if I want to do some recording that way. When you're looking at cost, the tripod itself was about $3 and the cutting board at Home Goods was $4.99, so $5, that's eight bucks all together. This whole thing cost me less than $10.00. I am not a person who breaks things really easily. I know some people are, are heavy handed and they tend to like break jewelry easy and things just break in their possession. But um, I'm pretty good at taking care of things like this. And so with being a little bit more gentle handed, I feel like at least for now, this is going to work for me for quite a long time. This phone that I put up is not as heavy as the one I'm using to record. And like I said before, I thought I would need paperweights because the S21, of course, is way heavier than the phone that I have in here. Turns out perfect. Like it bends, it doesn't fall over. If you're crocheting or sketching or drawing or doing anything like that, then um, you'll be able to put your hands right under and show your work. It'll be a little bit more of a close up. And as you can see with the tripod being this way, let's see if I can show it. Um, the phone, you know, the resistance, it has the material. So it's like it's laying on it. So here's one of the little circles that came out that's normal for cheap stuff and it goes right back in there now if i take the same phone now it might fall out maybe but turning it see that straight up this is what it's going to look like from this direction and it has, um, it's more higher up, but what it is, is, I mean, okay. So you see this right here is meant to actually go the other way because from this camera view down, it's possible that you may get this in your frame. So technically, because this is like laying on top, and you don't want the camera to like fall out this way, technically it's supposed to be this way. So you can see your options, so many different options. Have it here and do it back a notch and I can stand here. You can see me, hello. <laughs> And so you can see, it's just, I'm happy. <laughs> so I'm just pretty much giving my little crafty people an idea that may work for them. Even turning it this way, 
and you know getting in front of the camera like this is another option for recording like you can't see but you know how we get you can put a mirror you can put a mirror back there <laughs> to reflect the image this way because sometimes the front facing camera has way more uh, functions than the selfie facing camera okay but that's where it stretches top and bottom that's what it looks like on the bottom i wanted to make sure that i had something fresh and brand new even when i purchased this even though it was new <laughs> um i literally like washed it with dishwashing liquid so that it was like super spick and span took off the little uh, barrier so that i would have the adhesive and then i stuck it to the cutting board press down the suction tab because I the whole goal is like when you take these on and off on and off they start to lose uh, their stickiness and they become less and less effective so this is what the tripod pretty much looks like when it's completely folded down very easy as you can see this is the other stuff that I have too. I've had this one for a really long time. This still works really good with my camera. I have that one. I have uh, this one. Yeah, this is how I put all my little tech techy stuff. This one, which is cool because it works for what it works for. I can actually put it around my neck and it bends and folds all various kinds of ways. And then I have this one up here, which I use this one for TikTok because this also bends and folds as well, but it's pretty, pretty like hard to move. Um, it's not as flexible as the other one. And then it screws on that way. And then it's cool. So like I said, um, what I'm using here in all honesty is like, the best it's just the best feeling so far <laughs> i still use the other things for other various little things but so far this has been the easiest